What's up? Put me in the booth right now. Bet, let's go. Let me hear it. Got you, bro. What happened? What happened? What happened? I didn't use huh? I didn't save it. I didn't save it. Bro, you don't got shortcuts? No. Nah. My god, bro. Don't end up like him, man. You don't want to be like him. Today, I'm going to make sure you never end up like that because I'll be showing you the most important shortcuts in FL Studio. What's good everyone, it's Chambers from ChambersMixedIt.com. So here we are in Ableton. First thing I wanna do is go over the general shortcuts that apply anytime, anywhere. I'm gonna use my personal starter template to demonstrate everything so I can have all of my go-to sounds set up instantly. Links below. All right, listen, first one, maybe the most important one to know, control S, control your S. Doesn't matter what laptop you have, what plugins that you're using, what the CPU, bro, save your work. FL can crash at any time and it can be absolutely <laughs> devastating make sure you get control s in your muscle memory i probably save my project every 10 seconds without even thinking about it all right next one you should know this one already but let's just say you put that you put that note out of key you put that level up too high and you want to take it back control z to undo all your mistakes and control z again to redo it control z can only undo one action so for example if i put a note down and i want to undo it it will get rid of it. But if I want to redo it, it brings it back. But that's as far as it goes. For times where you need to undo several actions, use Control Alt Z. That way I can make something and change it in all these different ways. And each time I hit Control Alt Z, it will undo step by step, change by change. If you want to redo it one by one, you could just keep hitting Control Z and it will bring it all back. Cool, but wait a minute. There's one more thing about undoing that you're going to want to know. Go to Options, hit General Settings, and scroll down to Undo History. This number could mean your life. Your maximum undo level is how many undos you could keep doing consecutively. I have mine set at 100, never had a problem with it, but just wanted to make sure you know about that setting. All right, cool. So Control Z to undo one action, Control Alt z to undo several actions and control z again to redo it however many times you need overall speaking those are probably the most important shortcuts you want to know wherever you are in fl studio when i'm making beats i have my left pinky finger on that control button at all times which allows me to save undo or redo instantly moving on to the more specific parts of fl there's four main sections i want to cover that's the piano roll the channel rack the mixer and the playlist we're going to start with the piano roll where you make all your chords and melodies and stuff i'll make a quick chord progression so we have something to work with in my starter template i have these three empty instrument tracks that you could use to add your favorite plugins or samples i'll just grab a piano first thing we're going to go over is control a what does that do highlights everything you can see that it's highlighted in red another way to do that is to hold control click down on your mouse and drag across to highlight what you want when i want to highlight specific notes i'll hold control go like that 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 if you want to select multiple notes you want to hold control select the note and also hold shift so you're holding shift and control and clicking and that will select as many notes as you want if i want to just select everything i just hit control a next up we got control d what does that do the opposite deselect so maybe you select everyone you select a bunch of specific notes and you want to deselect them get rid of that highlight you could just hold control and click somewhere to deselect it or you could just hit control d let's say you have these chords and you want to layer them with another instrument i'll go into the channel rack into instrument two i'll put a new sound in it if i want to layer that what i can do is hit control a to highlight control c to copy let's add a new pattern and access that other instrument and you hit control v to paste it so now we have those same chords copied to another section so then if you wanted to hear those layered on top you have two separate patterns Moving on, control B, a very important one that I use all the time. So let's say you have these notes selected with control A. If you wanted to duplicate that over, you could hit control B. Boom, makes a copy of it, does it just like that. You could also do control A, control C to copy, control V to paste, and there it is. But it's super simple to just hit control B. Another way to do that, if you have your notes selected, you could hold shift and drag it out and that will also duplicate it over. The next one is Alt S, so what does that do? Brings you this menu that basically lets you strum out your notes like a human being. You could do it exaggerated like that or just do a little. So that takes away that robotic feel. 
I'm just having a chord hit. It's more like a human played it. Just want to say real quick, there's only one week left in my producer contest in the beat battle that I'm doing for the Galaxy Guitars kit. Submissions close on March 16th, so you got one more week left to send your beats if you want to be a part of the contest. I really want to know who has the hardest beats and the winner's going to get a really big prize. So back to the video. Now let's say you're working with some notes and it kind of looks like this they're all like off the grid in their own lane maybe you played it by hand or something or you made a mistake in the piano roll and you want to fix it and get them all back on grid just hit Control q to quantize you see how that automatically locks those notes up to the grid if you want to change your grid just go to this green magnet lucky charm looking thing another great shortcut let's say you have notes like scattered about maybe it's an 808 pattern and you want to connect them just hit Control l and that automatically connects all of them to each other instead of being separated. Last one, if you want to zoom in, just hold control and scroll on your mouse. Let's move on to the channel rack where you make the drum patterns for your beats. My starter template comes with all of my go-to drum sounds that I've used to produce for Future, 21 Savage, Meek Mill, Lil Durk, G Herbo, Coyle Right, you you get the point. They're my favorite sounds. I have them fully organized and even set up in the mixer fully for you. I don't even need to do anything. It's going to sound fire regardless because I got all my presets set up already. Links are below if you want the template. To demonstrate the shortcuts, I'm going to make a quick idea in the channel rack. My template comes with MIDI for 808s, hats, kicks, and snares. So I'll just drag something in to get an idea started. So here's what I came up with. So similar to the piano roll, if I want to take an idea and copy it into a different sound, you want this green rectangle to be highlighted, I'm going to hit Control C. I'm going to hit Control X if I want to get rid of it. Let's say I want to change up to this 808, then I can hit Control V to paste. And that's a different 808 sound. If I want to go back, I can hit Control C to copy, Control X to get rid of it, Control V to paste, back to the other 808. And there you go. Now, if you really want to be quick with it, you can right click on stuff and hit R. That will allow you to rename it, change the color, and change the icon as well. You can also do it on these parameters here. Like this is your volume knob, right? If I wanted to change that and reset it, instead of right clicking and hitting reset, I can just right click and hit R and it's set back to normal. So all these volumes, all these pans, if I mess something up, I wanna reset, right click, hit R, right click, hit R, resets it for you. Now this, this is the secret sauce one, okay? Don't tell anyone, I don't even know why I'm telling you guys about this, but look, if you wanna be the flash, this is how you impress people, right? We see my hi-hats right here that I had used from the MIDI pattern. I'm gonna clear that out with Control X. Some people, when they add their hi-hats, they're gonna go like this. You go one by one, okay, almost there getting there Ooh, messed up Ooh, messed up oh there's my hi-hats that might be you you might be this person i'm gonna come over here and right click move my mouse all the way over here to fill these two steps and click that okay hi-hats done significantly faster than the last person yes what if i told you you could just go like this did you even see what i did watch again watch again i must be ezra miller one more time one more time ready ready i'm not even gonna look Am I going to tell you how I did that? Of course not. Just kidding. I am. Watch closely. Right click your hat. Hit two on your keyboard. Boom. There it is. Fill each two steps. Done. Literally takes less than a second. So you could be this guy and take 24 hours to get your hi-hats done. You could be this guy who takes a minute to get your hi-hats done. Or you could just boom. Boom. Split second timing. Maybe you don't want that many hats and you're weird and you want to do fill each four steps. Right click and hit the four button. If you're really weird and you just want each eight steps, right click and hit eight. I'm going to bring it back to that uh, pattern that we had. See how I'm hitting control alt Z to continue to go back up to 100 times. Okay, cool. So let's say that you absolutely hate something and you want to get rid of it. You want to right click and hit D. Boom. Deletes it. You hit enter. Bye. There goes our piano. And guess what? You could go even faster than that. So watch this. If I want to get rid of this hat, I right click, I hit D, right? I got to take my hand and move all the way to the enter key. How about this? Right click, 
hit D, and your hand is literally already over the space bar. You can just hit the space bar instead of hitting enter, and that's the same, it does the same thing. All right, I got one more for you. So this one is if you wanna rearrange the order of the things in the channel rack. So if I want this clap to be all the way down here, you can't like click and drag, you know what I mean? It, like what what happens you got to hold alt and hit the down arrow on your keyboard and that will rearrange it however you want if i hold shift and drag i can select several of these things hit alt and the down arrow it'll move all of them maybe i want to select few so i'll do control and shift held down click 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 selects what you want alt down moves them all down all right so that should help you out with the channel rack let's move on to the mixer so all my template sounds are already routed in here and fully mixed so i'll just clear them out so we can start with a clean slate first thing we want to go over is how are we getting these sounds into the mixer from the channel rack you want to click and drag down so you can highlight all the sounds that you want what you do is hold Control, shift and hit l boom everyone's routed in just like that Let's say I just want one sound, like I just want to take the kick and put it into the mixer. If I do control shift L, nothing happens. Why? Because it's just one instrument this time. So if you're only doing one, you want to hit control L, routes it right in. And one more thing, if you want to route several sounds into the same mixer track. So for example, if I want to mix hat one and hat two in the same mixer track, you don't want to go and hit control shift L because that will separate them into two. What you want to do is make sure that they're both selected and just hit control L. As you can see here, they're both routed to track nine. All right, next. So similar to the channel rack, you can right click and hit R to rename anything. So we got perk one. If we wanted to rename this to perk 30, there you go. Same thing with the parameters. If I mess around with the panning and the stereo separation and the level, you could just right click and hit R to reset, right click and hit R to reset, right click and hit R to reset. This next one is really helpful. If you want to completely clear out a mixer track, just right click and hit E. That'll bring up this menu. And again, you could just hit the space bar because your hand is already right there and it clears it out like it was never there. If you want to do it to several tracks, hold Control and Shift and drag, right click any of the selected ones and hit E, brings up this menu, just hit the space bar, clears that whole thing out. Next, if you really want to be a speed demon, right click and hit F, that will open up your file menu and this is where I save my presets, like my 808, my hat, my open hat, my kicks and all that. All that stuff is already implemented in the starter template, but if you want to make your own presets, this is where you do it. You just do save mixer track state as, with the settings that you want. Let's say I have my kick selected here. I wanna route it into the mixer. Right click and hit F that opens up the preset menu. And I know that my kick preset name is kick. So you wanna do that first letter, which is K. Right click, hit F, then I hit K. Boom, my kick preset is up immediately. Take my clap in here, hit control L, right click, hit F. And then I go to hit C for clap. But look, I have several presets that start with C. So you just keep hitting C on your keyboard until you get to the one that you want. I have it all in my memory now that I just right click, hit F, hit C two times. That's my clap preset done. That's how you get super fast. But I'm telling you with the template, that's already done for you. So you could be faster, faster than fast. fast. I am Lightning McQueen. Another great one is Shift Alt R. So let's say I take my piano, I route it in here. If I have this selected and I hit Shift Alt R and then start, that renders out my piano into audio you could do that for any sound that you want i got one more for you so let's say that we have these routed in and you want to rearrange it like we did in the channel rack again hit alt but now it's the left or the right arrow so i can move this clap anywhere that i want because you can't click and drag it you could do it with several mixer tracks that you want by holding control and shift move them wherever you want so those are some great mixer shortcuts you want to get that into your head plus the starter kit you're going to be flying through the beat making process i've been in sessions making beats in front of people and they're like Come what how are you so fast? It's because I'm flying through with my template and my shortcuts. Last window we're going to go over is the playlist where you arrange your patterns to make a beat. I'm going to fly through these real quick because it's similar to the piano roll. Control A does what? Highlight. Control D does what? Deselect. Control A and Control B to duplicate it, which comes in handy when you're structuring. Maybe you want to repeat a section. Hold Control A. Control B. Duplicate. 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 You could also hold shift and drag it out to duplicate it. And one more. Same as the piano roll. You just hold Control and scroll just like that and that will zoom in that's the playlist super simple so yeah those are probably the most important shortcuts to learn in fl studio but what's the most important thing that we learned today control what control what control s save your work links below for my starter template it has all my go-to sounds and midi that i use with major artists fully set up organized mixed no matter what you do with it it's gonna be fire hope this video could help leave a comment if i missed any shortcuts that you use subscribe if you're new thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace